Rainy days! We get a lot of them in this country, so you might as well learn how to make the most of them. And let's be honest, here on Book Break, where we're concerned, the answer is usually going to be books. So when it starts to rain, here are the things you need to do. Number one, put on your coziest outfit. That is much better. Okay, step number two, we're going to make a cozy reading nook. So this is where I'm going to be settling for my cozy rainy day. I'm going to start by lighting a candle and making it smell really good. I've actually got a wax melt on the go at the moment. You can get those or candles that smell like libraries or smell like old books. The one I've got on the go at the moment smells like autumn reading. It's the smell of cozy cashmere. If you can't have fire where you live, a diffuser is a really nice alternative to make your reading nook smell delicious. Or if you're not a fan of scents, you can get just as cozy an effect with some fairy lights. I am feeling very relaxed now. But of course, something major is missing. To complete your cosy reading nook, you obviously need a blanket. Or two, or three. So I'm almost ready to climb in, but obviously I first need a cup of tea. According to The Book of Tea by Okakura Kakuzo, tea began as a medicine and grew into a beverage. The book goes on to describe why tea is so culturally important, particularly to Japanese culture, but it will really get you craving one. And that quote is absolutely right. On a rainy day especially, tea is the medicine we need. So now, tea in hand, I am finally ready to climb into my cosy reading nook. Of course, with a selection of rainy day books. So let's figure out your cosy rainy day reading style. You might want a really short book, something that you can easily read all in one day while snuggled up in your cosy reading nook. So for you, I would recommend something like Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshigazu Kawaguchi. There are actually two books in this series so far, so if you finish the first one, you do still have more to come. This is a really cosy, magical series about a time-travelling cafe in Tokyo. Regular Book Break viewers will know I am a huge fan of this series. I have talked about both of these books a lot but I'm going to recommend them again for you right now on your cosy reading day. Get lost in this magical world. The books are made up of a series of little episodes, little vignettes, exploring the lives of different people who come to this time traveling cafe for their own individual reasons. Some of their stories are sad, some of their stories are beautiful. Either way, I did shed quite a few tears while reading this series. On the other hand, if you really are expecting to go nowhere at all today, it might be the perfect time to pick up a really, really big book that you think you might finally be able to get through. So pick up the longest book on your TBR, or finally, grab yourself a copy of The Other Bennett Sister by Janice Hadlow. This is a chunky book. It's also a really cosy book, so perfect for a rainy day. This book is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice from the perspective of Mary Bennett, the middle sister who is often much forgotten, much ignored. She's not very popular. So this book takes her story and shows you a whole other side to her. The first section of the book is direct retelling of the events you're familiar with in Pride and Prejudice, but then the book goes on and Janice Hadlow uses her own imagination to think up what might Mary have done next. I honestly can't think of a better way to spend a rainy day than curling up with over 600 pages of Regency Heaven. If you want to hear more about that book, I did do an interview with the author a couple of years ago on this channel, so I will link to that video below if you want to go and see us talk about all of our unpopular Jane Austen opinions. To match the weather outside, you might want to read a book set in the rain. So something like Summer Water by Sarah Moss. This is a book that's set all in one day, all in one rainy day. It jumps between perspectives of about 12 different people who are all cooped up together in a holiday caravan park, stuck with nowhere to go because it's raining outside. And the book does get pretty dark. Sarah Moss is such a brilliant character writer and she also brings nature and the atmosphere and environment to life so perfectly. So this book will fully submerse you in a rainy day. The sound effects of the real rain outside the window can only help add to the mood. Or you might want to read a book set in way, way worse weather conditions so your rainy day suddenly feels like a hot holiday in comparison. In which case, you could read something like Their Eyes Are Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. At one point in this book, there is a hurricane so destructive 
that you will be extremely glad you are snuggled up in your cosy reading nook instead. And the great thing about reading on a rainy day is that you don't need sound effects. I know a lot of people love to put on some background noise while they read and they will often look up YouTube videos that have rainy day sound effects. Well yours is ready made for you. But if you like, you could put up a read with me YouTube video to really give you that cosy feeling of snuggling up with someone else and reading together. Loads of booktubers have made lovely videos like these, so I will link a few of those below so you can go check them out and find your perfect reading companion. So hopefully that has got you ready to make the most of your rainy day. If you would like some more cosy book recommendations, I will link here to a playlist of all of the cosy autumn book recommendation videos we've made here before on Book Break. So do click through and have a browse to find your perfect read. And I hope you enjoy your rainy day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.